just like Legos. I'm loving it. Right. These days, I'm sure there is an AI tool for pretty much anything you can think of. It's wonderful, but overwhelming. 200, god damn it. You spend more time trying these tools than actually working. As you guys know, I have a thing for simplicity. And I think I've discovered the easiest productivity workflow in history. Free automation with a click of a button. Today, I'm gonna walk you through a new and improved productivity system that I use every day to organize my life. This video is sponsored by Moft, my go-to brand for tech accessories to work anywhere. Notion. I've been using it for years. It is still the most powerful project management app I've used so far. I've heard good things about Obsidian and other apps, but to be honest, I'm so used to Notion now that changing would be a big headache. So no, no headaches, please. You probably already use Notion because you're watching this video. If not, strange that you're here and this video will blow your mind. Notion is a productivity app that can do everything and it's pretty easy to use. It can be modified by anyone who's used a computer before, like Legos. And it just got better. A couple months ago, Notion released a calendar that is just perfect. A time blocking app similar to Google Calendar, but with the best of both worlds. It synchronizes your Google account and events with your Notion databases all in one place. Technology, beautiful thing. Let me show you how it works. If you still don't have Notion Calendar, you can find it here on the bottom left corner of the main app or go to Notion's website and download the calendar. Once you open it with your Notion email account, it should look like this. To integrate your accounts, go to Settings, Integrations, Calendars, add your Google Calendar accounts, and any Notion workspace. Voila! All of my live events in a single place. The reason I'm loving this system is automation. I used to do things this way, a simple to-do system with a dedicated page for my weekly tasks. The problem was rewriting everything all the time and forgetting my Google events because they were not here. And with the rise of AI, it felt like I should be doing things differently, right? So I created a get it done page with the to-do's template under work in Notion. There is no template for sale because I didn't do it. It's Notions. And I didn't do major changes, just a few tweaks. Let me show you. I have tags, date, status. You can add filters so it's not a list of a thousand things you have to do in 2024. Please know. To see what I have to do this week and sometimes daily when life gets hectic keeps my mind at peace. Thank you. Then make sure you add a calendar view. Once you do it, you'll see this. Opening calendar option, click and bam, all here. These are my highlights of the day, the things I need to make sure I get done no matter what. So film the A roll for this video, what I'm doing right now and start the edit. Whatever you change in any of the pages synchronizes automatically everywhere. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know I am a big fan of Moft. It is my go-to brand for tech accessories because of how useful and how good looking they are. This is the new creator kit. It comes with a vegan leather case, a tripod, a wallet and a strap. I use the Misty Cove color for a clean and elegant look. For iPhone creators and vloggers, this kit is a game changer. Because the accessories are so practical, just snap and go. One of the things I love about this tripod is the form factor. Clever design. It is so compact that it lives in my pocket, but it's so functional at the same time, I can use it to film different types of shots anywhere. Yeah, I am that guy at the gym. I like to film myself while working out, not to post on social media, but to check my form. Form is everything, guys. The tripod also works as a stand for meetings, a standby mode, or to watch content while you eat your food, by yourself, alone, every day. A nice addition is the strap for a hands-free experience, great for every content creator on the go. Now, this packaging is reusable, it turns into an everyday carry organizer. If you're interested in getting the creator kit, you can use my code for a special discount. I'll leave all the information down in the video description. Thank you Moft for sponsoring this video. Back to the calendar. If you are more of a visual guy like I am and do time blocking, you can organize your days from your calendar and you'll have a checklist as well or the other way around. Now with the highlights in mind, I can start creating events for my day to make sure I get them done. To create an event, select a block of time, easy. You can move events like Legos. I usually work in bouts of time of 60 to 90 minutes. I've talked about time blocking in many of my videos before. This is the last time, I promise. If you still do the traditional to-do, stop. Time blocking is a much better way to get stuff done because you know exactly the time of the day you're gonna do it. 
and duration for the task. After doing time blocking for a while, you'll find that you usually underestimate the time needed to complete a task. So you learn about your work patterns, when you are more likely to procrastinate and how long does it actually take to do something. I find that when I have more than three highlights per day, they don't get done. I know myself. So start time blocking and don't forget the non-work related stuff because that also takes time. There are events that repeat every day part of my routine. If you want an event to repeat every day, click here and then select repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday. And there you have it. Pretty neat feature for a calendar, right? All right. I am a visual guy. I like to color code different events. Also use emojis. It's just easier to navigate my days. You have the option of different layouts to see your calendar, number of days, week, month, or just one day, as well as what events you want to be shown. You can toggle on and off your calendars. A pretty cool feature is the menu bar on top of your laptop with the task and time left. Seeing the time left kind of gives you this sense of urgency that pushes you to be more productive, like the Pomodoro technique. I have the Notion widget here on my homepage that shows the activity plus time. When using the app from your iPhone, the transition is pretty seamless. It is optimized for any device, not like some pages of Notion that look horrible on iPhone or iPad, which is pretty annoying Notion. I like that you can toggle on and off different calendars, so if you are off work, you don't want to see anything work related, then you see just your live events. It is a great way to unplug and wind down and the same for your laptop. Birthdays, national holidays, Google events and work calendar, pretty useful for planning. There is this scheduling snippet that lets you select your available times for meetings, then you select your free time, create, then copy, then you send the mail with the link, then the other person will get it. All right, let's select for Wednesday, 11.45. Tap your email, schedule meeting. There you go. And then if I go to my Notion calendar, it is here. Meeting with Robert. Join Google Meet meeting. There you go. Nice. Pretty awesome, right? Say you are a busy dude who never seems to have free time. Next time someone wants to hang out with you, you can go like, sure, let me check my calendar and I'll get back to your email with my free time. Is that okay? Damn, they'll think you're a pretty big deal or an idiot. When you're done with the tasks, you can go back to your to-do on Notion Mark as done with the check mark, add the status view filter and check done. So every time you complete a task is gone from your list. But if you want to see how productive you've been, you can go back to your record and give yourself a pat on the back as well. Motivation is important. Okay, this is the way I'm organizing my life in 2024. Pretty simple, straightforward. Let me know what you think. And by the way, if there is something else you want to see from my Notion setup or whatever you want to learn from me, let me know in the comments and I'll probably make those videos. Thank you for watching. See ya.